Well, everybody, this is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the burn down that took place at the No Prep Kings event at Maple Grove, and that was on TV last night. Now, for the good of Ghost Truck T2, their photo owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. Now, first of all, I am a fan of Justin Swanstrom, Corey Swanstrom, and that whole team. I am a huge fan of them. But don't take this video as a message I'm delivering due to the fact that I'm a fan of them. Take this as the other side of the story of last night's episode. Now check out this message right now. After the first racer goes to the burnout box, the second racer got one minute. That didn't happen. That, they didn't put him on the time clock. Then after Chuck does his burnout, he's got exactly two fucking minutes to put that car in the beat. That didn't happen either. It was like, I don't know, two minutes and six, two minutes and 50 seconds or some shit. I can't remember what it was all about. But all I'm saying is, you know, we ran out of fuel down there at the end of the run. And at that time, we didn't know we parked the motor up. Now, if you're watching this video, go jump on this Godine's page and watch the whole live feed featuring Big Country. So you can actually see the whole backstory on what happened on TV last night. They're not mad because Chuck beat him. They're not bad because Chuck gets the light. They're mad because they got burned down. And that is extremely dangerous when you're running one of these cars and one of these methanol motors. When you run methanol, you burn over twice the amount of fuel that if you were on gasoline. Now, what happens when you run out of fuel or what happens when you go lean? You can catch on fire. Now, a couple of years ago, I think it was six years ago, something like that happened to Lyle Burnett. Anybody that follows drag racing knows this. Now, his issue was he didn't run out of fuel, but an injector failed. Then the motor went lean, and he had 60 pounds of boost behind that, and it basically torched the whole car, and he suffered pretty serious injuries. Now, this can happen if you run out of fuel as well. Right before you run out of fuel, the engine will go lean, and that happens on a normal car. Right before... You lose all fuel, the motor goes lean, and when you have that happen on a methanol motor that has 55 pounds of boost behind it, like Little Country's motor, there is a very high possibility that not only you're going to break the motor, but it can catch fire. And if one of these cars catches fire, it is extremely serious, and it can possibly burn it, basically burn down to the ground, or cause severe injuries to the driver. So... That's what can happen when you get burned down like Chuck burned down Justin yesterday. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk shit about the 405 because I also watch their show. And they're the reason, one of the reasons, this show is so successful. But that was not right. And Chuck will never say it on social media that he was wrong burning him down. If he would have gone up and just guessed the light of Justin and beat him... Hey, it is what it is. But what he did was extremely dangerous. And that's what I want everybody to see, especially my viewers to see. So do yourself a favor and jump on to Disco Dean's page and actually watch that live feed. Obviously, Big Country has the full explanation of what would have happened or what happened in that burn down. So <clears throat> go check it out. And uh, hey, let's stay tuned and see what happens next.